RV preppers is Wayne here. Uh, one little thing I've done today is uh, got an ad up on Craigslist where I'm searching for battery backups. Uh, a lot of people, when they go bad, they just get another one and they throw these in the trash or they throw them off in the corner or something. They just let them sit. So I try to get as many of them as I can. Uh, and what I did is when I got home, they said it... Uh, Plugged into the wall, it all it would do was beep, and if you unplugged it, it didn't work. Uh, so I pulled the uh, battery wannabe out and tested it. It only had two volts, so I knew that was bad with it. Uh, then I powered it on with the battery unhooked. Uh, it didn't beep. It come on, stayed on. All the outlets worked. Uh, so what I did then is I took it apart. I pulled the little uh, beeper out of it because uh, nobody likes hearing them darn things go beep, beep, beep when the, when the power goes out. And what I do is I drilled a hole all the way through. This is hollow here inside the middle. So I've got a bolt that runs through. I've got a nut here. I've got the wire up under the head there. I've got that tightened down. Then I have another nut here on the outside so you can hook up uh, connections to your battery. Uh, or you could hook jumper cables up to it, whatever you may be. Uh, right now, uh, I've got this just uh, testing, so I've got a small wire here. Uh, it's been on, uh, just batteries at, uh, 12.7 volts, so it's charging, it works, uh, what I'll do is I'll plug in this little battery charger here, uh, it's not hooked up to anything, it's plugged in here, uh, show you it works, and what I'll do is we'll follow this wire, if it goes up over, I'm going to unplug it, and right now I'm unplugged, and it is charged. It's uh, supplying power. Battery voltage is pulled down a little bit. That's a lot of it's pulled down because this is too small of a battery to use. Uh, but it's working. Uh, some people say, "Well, can you plug them into themselves?" No, you can't, but I'll, I'll show you. Plug it into itself. It does nothing. Uh, so you can't run a continuous, continuous deal on them. So what I'll do is I'll plug it back into the wall. Watch the battery voltage when I plug it in. Here it clicked. And battery voltage is slowly coming up. So it's working. Uh, a lot of people don't know you can take these and turn them on without being plugged into the wall. Uh, I'm going to unplug it from the wall again. Okay, you see the light flashes. There's the plug. Okay, set the plug on the bench anywhere it'll fall. I'll turn it off. See, it goes off. Okay. Here's the plug for it. Okay. You set it up there by the battery. To turn these on, you push the button in. You hold it in until the light comes on. Bam. Right now, it's running off the battery. It's pulling the battery down. I'm running it directly off the battery. It turned on without being... Uh, plugged in. So, if you got one of these, this is a simple little hack that uh, you can do to them. I use them. Uh, I use a big battery. I use uh, uh, a deep cycle battery or a 35 amp hour battery uh, from the little electric wheelchair things. 
and I can run my uh, TV for several hours uh, with no problem. Uh, I can uh, uh, charge, you know, I could plug in uh, cell phone chargers and probably last for days on So, you know, these are handy to have, especially in the RV, you know, uh, if you need a little bit of power for something. Uh, I can run uh, uh, lights off of this. I don't run the old-fashioned light bulbs. They pull too much power. I run either CFLs or fluorescents. Uh, and I can last a couple hours uh, on, a, on a good 35-amp-hour uh, battery. So what I'm going to do is I'll plug it back into the wall. And we'll watch the battery voltage increase again it clicked and it's back charging the battery so that's what I do with these like I said this is just temporary uh, batteries just temporary this is what I use to test uh, things like this here with I've got another one that I'm working on uh, it's different design um, but it has to have a uh, a button mounted for it to turn it on uh, I'll have that in another video uh, probably tomorrow but questions and comments feel free uh, please subscribe I am uh, my goal is to have you know 100 plus subscribers by the end of January, uh, I would like to uh, you know, create a good fan base. I'll do little projects like this, little alternate energy projects, uh, little simple hacks on things like this. Um, so, questions or comments, feel free. Uh, leave them below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.